In this video, we'll be going over linkouts in next generation clustered heat maps. Linkouts are associated with either row or column labels, and in this video, we are showing a heat map using samples and genes as labels. A key feature of the NGCHM system is that you can easily link out to information related to the data in the heat map. For example, you may be looking at a heat map containing gene expression data and would like a summary and or detailed information about one or more genes. Right-clicking on the gene label will display a menu of available linkouts for that gene. Selecting a menu entry will perform the corresponding linkout action. In most cases, this involves opening a new window or tab containing the requested information. For instance, selecting View NCBI Gene will open a new window or tab containing that selected gene's information. The available menu entries depend on the type of data in the map. In this map, row labels are gene symbols, so the row label menu contains linkouts to gene information. In contrast, the column labels are TCGA sample identifiers, so the column label menu contains linkouts to information about TCGA samples. If one or more labels are selected, the label menu contains additional entries that apply to the selection. When one of these entries is selected, the menu action will apply to the selected menu entry or entries. The available menu entries also depend on the linkout plugins included in the NGCHM viewer. You can display the plugins included in your viewer by selecting the hamburger menu at the top and then selecting Plugin Help. At the top of that menu, select Installed Plugins. Linkout plugins can easily be added to or removed from a server based viewer. They can also be modified. Such changes may be reflected in the linkouts incorporated into the label menus. Changing the linkout plugins in a standalone viewer requires the viewer to be updated. From all the available linkouts defined by the plugins, the specific subset of linkouts included in a particular label menu are determined by one or more types associated with the axis labels. You can display the types associated with the axis labels in a map by clicking on the hamburger menu at the top right of the viewer, selecting Modify Map Preferences, and then selecting the Rows and Columns tab. The label types associated with the rows and columns are displayed. If more than one label type is included for an axis, the additional types apply to hidden meta information associated with the labels. In this map, for instance, row labels are Hugo gene symbols, and in addition, each row contains a hidden entry ID. Linkouts associated with Hugo gene symbols and linkouts associated with entry identifiers will both be enabled. Some linkouts require additional information. For instance, linkouts to CBioPortal require the identifier to a specific CBioPortal study. Such linkouts will only be displayed if the additional required information is included as a map property. Server based viewers may also include computational linkouts, such as those based on the statistical toolbox. These are covered in a subsequent video. We would like to include more linkout plugins in our base NGCHM system. If you have a linkout that you would like included, please contact us.